Heavenly Father, thank you for the gift of your word. Help us to seek you with sincerity and to walk in humility and courage, trusting fully in your guidance. May we be inspired by Christ's example and grow in wisdom and strength as we follow you. Amen. Reading 1, Philippians chapter 2 verses 12 to 18. Beloved, just as you have always obeyed, not only when I was present, but all the more now when I am absent. Work out your salvation with fear and trembling, for God is the one who, for his good purpose, works in you both to desire and to work. Do everything without grumbling or questioning, that you may be blameless and innocent, children of God without blemish in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation, among whom you shine like lights in the world, as you hold on to the word of life, so that my boast for the day of Christ may be that I did not run in vain or labor in vain. But, even if I am poured out as a libation upon the sacrificial service of your faith, I rejoice and share my joy with all of you. In the same way, you also should rejoice and share your joy with me. Gospel, Luke chapter 14 verses 25 to 33. Great crowds were traveling with Jesus, and he turned and addressed them. If anyone comes to me without hating his father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, and even his own life, he cannot be my disciple. Whoever does not carry his own cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Which of you wishing to construct a tower does not first sit down and calculate the cost, to see if there is enough for its completion? Otherwise, after laying the foundation and finding himself unable to finish the work, the onlookers should laugh at him and say, This one began to build but did not have the resources to finish. Or what king marching into battle would not first sit down and decide whether with 10,000 troops he can successfully oppose another king, advancing upon him with 20,000 troops. But if not, while he is still far away, he will send a delegation to ask for peace terms. In the same way, every one of you who does not renounce all his possessions cannot be my disciple. Lord Jesus, strengthen us to follow you fully, letting go of what may hold us back and carrying our cross with courage and faith. Help us to shine as lights in a world in need of your love. May our lives reflect your grace, and may we live in joyful service to your kingdom. Amen.